Hello everyone, Alan here. I'm going to try a new gadget that I discovered in our kitchen. Um, I'm going to be doing this on a 12 by 12 canvas with a black base. The colors I'm going to be using Bear Divine Wine, Craft Smart Gold, Lucas Indigo Blue, Bear Essential Teal, Craft Smart Ocean Breeze, and Black with Silicone. The little device that I found came out of the freezer. I have just retrofitted a little with some uh, uh, base to hold this just elevated off the canvas. And I'm going to center this. I've already checked the canvas to make sure it's level. I've also checked the uh, device to make sure that that's level so that I get an even flow onto the canvas. So I'm not sure what's going to happen here, uh, but we're going to uh, give it a shout or a shot at it and see what happens. Blacks down first. And again, I'm going to go with the Craft Smart Ocean Breeze. Followed by the Bear Essential Teal. Lucas Indigo. Followed by the Craft Smart Gold. And finally, the Bear Divine Wine. Just taking a peek underneath, can't see exactly what's happening, but I'm going to go with the same color combination. Black in the center first, followed by Craft Smart. Ocean Breeze, the Bear Essential Teal, now some of these are the house paints that you don't normally get at your uh, art supply store. These are from your local home improvement center. Lucas Indigo Blue, Craft Smart Gold. And finishing up again with another Bear Divine Wine. And I think what I want to do is I want to put just one more dot of black in that center. So paint's flowing through. Getting some kind of funky designs coming out. Just waiting for that paint to dissipate. And it's slowly spreading out. Go ahead and pick this up. Release any more paint. Ooh. We got some cool designs there. Now I'm just going to try to stretch this a little. Try to maintain the form, so I'm going to try to rock it back and forth a little. trying to do is to 
to stretch the stretch the pain a little. Then rocking it back and forth without losing the design. Now I'm going to have to stretch it right to the edge of the canvas. Always trying to bring it back to the center. And I think we're going to have one more tilt each way. time bring it over the edge lost a little of the design on the edge bring it back to center Torch it a little so we can get some of the air pockets out of the paint. And I'm just going to take it over the edge. to the center. The real key to this um, design is the color choices. And uh, we had a little debate about the color choices on this in the beginning. Um, I lost and I'm glad I did. I think my uh, color choices would have been a little, uh, a little funkier. But let me give you a quick close-up of what we got. Definitely a uh, device I would like to try again. Um, but I just like to say thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed before. Okay, uh, one thing that I didn't do, uh, I didn't cover uh, the corners, so I'm just going to hit that with a little black on the edge. And I'm just going to try to draw that out. Actually, an idea.
a little touch up work down the edges. And then just remember to clean up the bottom of your canvas before you move it to your drying rack. Torch it one more time. some awesome cells that are forming in this. I would just like to say thank you for watching. If you haven't already, uh, please subscribe below and uh, also uh, watch for Christina and I on the Paraj Posse uh, on Facebook. And um, I'll be putting out another video in the next couple of days. And again, I would just like to say, see you next time. Thank you.